Okay, y'all, so we're off camera now, and this is how I go about sizing my canvas. So I basically, I can't remember what size canvas this is, so we're going to measure it. So this is a 12 by, a 12 by 9. So we're just going to go, I think I just want it in the middle. And we're going to put it right here, so I'm probably going to do like 7.5 which is probably going to be bigger than that. I said nine. So, yeah, I'm going to just do eight. Eight by 6.5. So, you just do it to wherever you want to put place it. It doesn't matter really, y'all, uh, about the placement. <laughs> it only matters, like, if you was going to put, like, other stuff, like, around it or whatever. But if you're just going to do the image... Um, I'm just going to make it this size right here. And so right now it's at 6.546 at 8.167. So we're going to go ahead and um, cut that out. So right now it's cutting on the Explorer Air. So um, it doesn't matter what size you um, do it on the canvas. That determines what size canvas that you get. So that's up to you if you want to do it a small, medium, or large size. So with Cricut, um, when you're cutting, as long as you have the long mat, short mat, um, you can pick whatever size you want. So um, as long as it fits on your canvas. So right now it's cutting. So when it's done, we'll go ahead and weed it out. So with weeding, I start with the smaller things. Um, I go and get all the little small pieces out first. And then I go ahead and um, pull the big pieces out. So we're going to go around and we're going to do all the small pieces. And then when I get to the end, we'll do the big pieces. All right, so I know y'all don't want to watch this, so I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so this is how it should come out, just like this. And then you just pull it from here. And we have this image. So this right here is going to go on this canvas. Even See, even by it being this thin, it still won't fit inside the Cricut. So we're going to go and put it just like that. I do have a press. But mm, I'm just going to use the iron because I think it's extremely hot. All right, so I'm going to lay it just like this on here. You want to make sure it doesn't have any um, loose residue or any hair or anything behind it because once you press it, it will stay on there, okay? So um, I see a lot of people not using parchment paper, but I am going to use parchment paper on it. Only because when I did this one, um, it went like too, um, it was too hot. And so it has like these little shiny, you know how like when you put it on a shirt, it has a little shiny um, spots on there. So when you do try to use, I, tr I did marker, but you see how when I try to use the marker, that shiny spot right there, it wouldn't take the marker even though we're going to be using acrylic but with the kiddos and stuff like that somebody may not want their kids to be using acrylic and want them to use markers so just make sure you don't do it too hot to where it puts that shiny film on your canvas canvas okay and we're about to iron um this one on i'm just going to go ahead and use my regular iron on that Alright y'all, so let's get started with this. So uh, my iron is hot now. We're just gonna slide it very slowly. And try to make sure you cover up your um, your 
canvas because it will leave this little black residue stuff and you don't want that to happen at all. I should have been looking at my table, but that's my other table. Just lift it a little bit to see if it's ready. I'm gonna iron it some more just to make sure because the little pieces. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. I had run up out of space on my phone, but here we go. So it is done. It is cute, and that is how you accomplish that. Did very good. Came out very good. Alright, make sure y'all subscribe. See y'all next video.